If women prosper, communities prosper. That was the key message as Commonwealth Day was celebrated by 54 countries across the globe on March the 14th, culminating in this reception at Marlborough House in London, the headquarters of the Commonwealth Secretariat. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II met women of achievement and influence from member countries who are seen to embody this year's Commonwealth theme that women are agents of change. So the message is that women can contribute, they can move societies, they can transform communities. You educate one woman, you educate an entire community. So let us work together. Let us look at the gaps. Let us look at how we can effect change at a faster rate. My parents were being advised by friends to remove me from school. But when they didn't remove me and then I finished and I'm working, uh, people appreciate me and then they like to send their children to, to school. Earlier, during a service at Westminster Abbey, the Queen called for acknowledgement of the influence women and girls make at both a grassroots level and on the international stage. This year, and on Commonwealth Day especially, as governments continue to search for new ways to tackle these important challenges, let us all give a thought to the practical ways in which we, as individuals or as groups, can provide support to girls and women so that everyone can have a chance of a fuller and more rewarding life. Fundamentally, the Commonwealth is asking the nations to consider how they can unlock the potential of women, to ask what more could be achieved if they were more empowered. I had to uh, do a, um, to put together a drama, um, a session uh, on a radio to disseminate um, information um, to women back in the rural areas. And uh, with that radio drama, um, I, made, I create an avenue where women could be able to speak and their voices could be heard. The night was hosted by the Commonwealth Secretary General, Kamilesh Sharma, attended by 300 guests, including British Prime Minister David Cameron. Kamla Persad Bissasar, the Commonwealth Chair in Office and Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, said it was important to involve men in this quest. We do not want uh, our men folk or boys or brothers to be threatened. And I think they should not be threatened by the gender agenda. Because when you educate girls and you empower women, then what you're doing firstly is you'll make good girlfriends, good wives and good mothers. And therefore, the, the, the development of humanity rests in the hands of the women. So I said to the guys, I want to repeat because a young man did ask me, um, you know, this gender, gender, you know, where does it leave us as, as men? Um, a young man, and I said, you know, women hold up half the sky and the men hold up the other half. So if we come together, there can be a greater thrust to sustainable development worldwide. She says it's crucial to ensure the needs of women and girls are properly met, and doing so will only accelerate economic and political progress in member countries.